Well, I mean, one of the things that I've observed is that we spend a lot of time focused on our technical skills. You know, we've gone to school for marketing, so we stay on top of all the marketing stuff or the sales stuff or the finance stuff. And we don't think about soft skills like communication, written, verbal, presentation, all of those things team playing. I mean, the list is huge for what we need to do on the soft skill side of our skill set. And so what happens is that, you know, some people are natural at it, they're very good at it, and they're comfortable doing it, and they tend to be the ones that always then get asked to do these types of things. But I think in leadership roles, one of the things that we do have to recognize is in certain situations, we're required to be able to do certain types of things on both the hard skill side and on the soft skill side. And in terms of essential skills, there's no question that being able to present to a group of people, being able to be on message, to be able to present passionately, is something that um, we all need to keep practicing. And I know a lot of people find that a very intimidating thing. Personally, it's not a fear that I've had. Um, however, in saying that, you can always get better. And so I think you start from where you are, and the more you do it, and the more practice you have, the better you get at it. And so part of, I think, overcoming the fear of public presenting in particular is that saying, feel the fear and do it anyway. Just get out there and do it. And um, I used to be the president of a Toastmasters club and it's a great way to get involved, very supportive environment and allows you to learn structure around creating your messages, but also the practice of being able to get up and do speeches and do impromptu speaking and get comfortable with it in a safe environment. Um, I think for any leader that's looking to advance, these are the kinds of things that get talked about at the executive table when succession planning comes up, when people are thinking about who do we want to put forward, who's ready for an increase in scope. It's not the results that get talked about. The results are what get you to the table. So if you've been driving great business results, fantastic. That got you in the door. What's going to get you beyond the door are the things that veer into the soft skills category. How good are you at presenting your ideas? How well is your you know, written communication? How well do you play with others? What weird mannerisms do you have? How are you dressing? I kid you not. I have heard half hour conversations over people's hairstyles that are being considered for succession tracks. So it's really important that as leaders we don't ignore these softer skills and put just as much time and energy into developing and growing that side of our leadership skill set as we do on the technical side.